Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the weigh in. <laughs> the title of today's episode is Dealing with a Man Child Ain't Child's Play. You know it. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about man child, man children, the little boys that refuse to grow up. And who's the know? most famous one? Charles Lee Ray, Mr. Chucky himself. Chucky himself. So, Chucky the pervert. Number one in this thing, Chucky is the Peter Pan syndrome meets Pan's labyrinth. Oh, so fantastic. So, what that means is a man child is someone who refuses to grow up, someone who is not looking for a job, chronically unemployed, not willing to do one's fair share of the household chores doesn't take care of the financial responsibilities and just a general failure to launch yeah he's just looking for trouble he's looking to pillage he wants to have a child which he does later on he's just an evil son of a bitch and son of a bitch now <laughs> pan's labyrinth which is a phenomenal movie is based on what they call moral disobedience yeah so if correct this claim entails that citizens that act with the moral rights that commit acts of public disobedience but still feel that it is their right to do these things and when doing so they feel like they're acting justly so they they feel like it's their right to do bad things pretty much jeez who the hell does that sound like in the white house so <laughs> you, <laughs> sorry he you, brought it up you said it not me okay so a little fun fact Child's Play came out in 1988. You know, it was an American horror film released on November 9th, 1998. Um, excuse me. It was released in 1988, and it had a budget of $9 million, but it made $444 million. Yeah, what, what, which, what, which what is huge epic. for the time. That's like a billion dollars plus, easily. Yeah, which, which is huge for the time. And it, it was starring Katherine Hicks and Chris Sarandon and Brad Dorf as Chucky. Yeah, Chucky. and those guys were all like at one time pretty A-list type actors, you know? So yes. on the downside of their career, they decided to try to do these films. And I mean, the female lead who was the one who was, he was torturing, you know, the yeah. doll, you know? I've seen her in a Star Trek two, you know, or Star Trek three, and all okay. kinds of films. Okay. Yeah, she's really decent. You know, it's funny how like that film actually was a serious little horror film, the and then it went more cliche as time went on. Yeah, it, it turned into comedy. That yeah. first Chucky was incredible. Oh yeah, you that like me? that was real deal horror. Yeah. So creepy. The second thing I want to bring up is little Chucky's always want to play. They do. So man, children are consumed with childish behavior, prone to roughhousing. They don't have no respect for people's personal property and will drag you into their downward spiral of drama and bullshit. Everybody knows somebody who's a who's a little chucky. You know, like I personally have a cousin. This dude is in his <laughs> this, I have a cousin. This dude is in his 50s. <laughs> if I invite this dude over to my apartment, something gets broken. Every Ooh. single time. Straight man child doesn't want to grow up. So guess what? <laughs> I don't hang with this dude. I don't allow this dude to be around me. You know why? Because I can't deal with the BS. Every single time. Like he all like, how is this a grown man who always wants to play? He like he's that dude that wants you to get that wants to give you a wet willy in your ear all the time. It's like, dude, you're 50. How are you still like how are you still giving wet willies, okay? Sorry. Like, and and so. Like if, so, if he's I, a little Chucky syndrome. No, he's definitely a little Chucky. He's definitely got the the the, the child's play syndrome. And, and like, if you think about the first movie, you know, with the son Andy Barclay, like Chucky would have him. Like he was like, "Yo, man, we gotta go do this. We gotta go do that." You know, like he would he would send him off on little missions and have him going doing all types of little bullshit, getting him in trouble. That's what these man children do. I don't hang with no man children. No, no. You know I mean, that's a sad movie. That one. Actually. I mean, I kind of hang with one man child. You know, like I want. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy here talking. No, that, that that movie with the child that he had a son who's kind of like a gay kid. I can't remember what it was. It's like. That's a pretty sad movie, actually. Dude, it's a, it's a crazy movie. They would never make a movie like Bef that today. Before we get to that, speaking of which, 
Jennifer that, Tilly. Ooh, Jennifer. <laughs> Jen, Jennifer Titty. Woo. The, <laughs> so the, the third thing I would like to bring up is to be the bride of Chucky, he'll seduce you with the voodoo. Yeah, he did. So, have you ever read The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene? I know you read 48 Laws of Power. Did you get The Art of Seduction? <sighs> no, I never got to that. Okay, so in The Art of Seduction, Robert Greene talks about affecting a regression, which is to elicit the nurturing feelings in a female victim and make them want to take care of you, you know, financially and emotionally, you know. So, that's what these little Chuckies do. That's what these man-childs do. Like, women, they gravitate towards these little Chuckies because they're like, yo, he wants to have fun. I thought I heard him laughing back there. <laughs> dude, dude, I, dude, I thought I was the, I'm sorry. You heard sorry, it? everybody, but like, I heard that shit too, dude. Like, dude. I, I, I thought, what's I going on in here? Dude, this is a spook. That, I can't dude, even I, see. October's a spooky month. <laughs> but get, get, getting, getting back. So these little, these little Chuckies, like they, 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 they end up interacting and getting these women who want to take care of them and think that they can change them. And they and since these Chuckies they act so childlike and rambunctious, like they they allow these women to feel young again. But what these women don't know is that's just the spell, like that's just the voodoo. And then what happens is these women get stuck with these dudes, and like they realize this dude's never gonna grow up. He's a fucking Toys R Us kid, okay? And now they're stuck with this dude. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. So another fun fact. Jennifer Tilly played Tiffany Valentine in The Bride of Chucky, you know. Be still in my heart. And also for the voodoo aspect, because, and like, I don't like the fact that Chucky doesn't really get credited as being like a voodoo movie. But there's the. It Dumb clearly is. The Dumbala chant, which is an arcane and forbidden form of voodoo magic used to call forth the power of the sky god, Dumbala. Yeah. They, they, they were, they're tampering with some pretty serious, like, realistic stuff in some of these movies. Yeah. Like you that's just really jinx and voodoo the whole place dude, like, up. Yeah, throw a hex on the whole family. <laughs> Lil' Kim shit, okay? Like, that, that like... Yeah, I'd that, like to know the follow-ups of how many people on the set were dead 20 years later. Who knows? <laughs> I, bet it's, I bet it's some weird shit. Maybe we'll have to do a follow-up on, like, a real follow-up on Chucky. So, the fourth thing I'd like to bring up is Seed of Chucky, a.k.a. The Trap You Baby. Oh, that's a good one, too. That's a real good one. <laughs> like, now, some men will get a woman pregnant to keep that woman in their life for financial support and consistent casual sex. They get a woman, they date them. Some, you know, and you always hear the antithesis, the opposite, where the woman tries to tra trap the man into getting pregnant so she can keep him. But these little Chuckies, these man childs, They'll do the opposite. They'll get the girl pregnant because they know, oh, this girl's got a job. She's going to school. She's going to be something. I'm a piece of shit, dumb loser, you scumbag. I get her pregnant. Now, now I'm going to keep her in my life forever. Which, like, a lot of women tend to fall for this shit. And, uh, and I, I think some women actually get off on it where they're like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm wearing the pants. I can take care of this dude. But at the same time, it's like, do you really want to take care of this dude for the rest of your life and now another child? So you're basically so now you're basically a double baby mama because now you got like two kids you gotta take care of. Two, okay? You gotta take care of the actual child that's growing in your belly, and then the then the man child. <laughs> Shout out to Cher Bear. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, doing her keeps thing. me in line. <laughs> keeps, keeps this guy in line. <laughs> So, in The Seed of Chucky, which was a 2004 horror comedy cult classic, Chucky, this is a fun fact, does not use his good guy voice. The, hi, I'm Chucky, like, that is never used. I didn't know that. What, one, what, does he do? what does he do? I can't remember. He, use, he uses the regular, the Charles Lee Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he never, you know, like, the kind of, when he's the doll and he's pretending? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never uses that. That's the only that must movie. Have been, I, I must have been, I don't remember that one, so I wonder if that became even a very good, effective use of audio. Maybe. Did it sound creepier? No, it's the regular voice because it was still um, Brad Dwarf, but they never, for some reason, like they never put into the plot where he uses the, the good guy voice where he has to pretend to be a doll. He's kind of, in that movie, he's just always Chucky. Like he's never, never he's been, always the yeah. Chucky persona. Like he's never like the fake one, you know? And like you were talking about earlier, they had a child that was kind of gender pan fluid. 
you know, gender ambiguous. Yes. So the name of the child was Glenn or Glenda. So they were kind of like early on the gender identity politics kind of thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were ahead of the game on yeah. that. But that, that, t- that, that title was, was taken from um, an Ed Wood film. Oh, Ed Wood. Ed yeah. Wood made that. He was playing that game with the, the male or the female thing. Because Ed, Ed Wood, I believe, was gay, I think. But, um, I but Glenn or Glenda, interesting title on that one. Yeah. Mm, mm, that's dope. So, the secret to killing Chuckies is to aim for the heart. The way to get a man child to be an adult is to take the heart out of what you let them do. Don't like you like we talked about like if you go back to our one of our episodes called the Iron Gate where we talking about where we pretty much talk about not letting negative people in our lives and little Chuckies to an extent can be negative. The kill the little Chuckies is don't let them be little Chuckies. There's got to be like a group intervention from the social <laughs> circle. No, for real. Because here's the thing. Man, man children are man children because they're allowed to be man children. You know, like we all got that buddy that doesn't want to grow up, still living at home with the parents, could be doing more, but he's just lazy. Yep. It's we're allowing him to do that. So if we society does that, yeah. So like if we pull back the people that's closest to him and say, like, dude, you gotta grow up, it forces the man child to grow up. So and another fun fact, in the OG Child's Play series, Detective Mike Norris shoots Chucky in the heart to kill him. He does. Boom, 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 boom. That's how you kill a man child, baby. That was the way in. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you want more spooky videos, because we got more spooky videos to come. Stay away from man child. What? Dude, <laughs> what are you doing, bro? You heard it too? Yes. Yo, what the fuck is that? Whoa! Whoa, shit! So my go-to film, which is, it's definitely a horror film, but it's also a comedy film. Oh, it definitely has a comedy thing going. It's, a, it's even a buddy film a little bit. <laughs> it's Army of Darkness. Oh, yeah. If you have not seen this movie after you've done, after you get done watching this episode, you have to go and and. And get it. Like, it's phenomenal. So, it came out in 1992. Yep. Directed by Sam Raimi, who is uh, famous for a little franchise known as the first OG Spider-Man franchise. Yep, exactly. It stars Bruce Campbell and M. Beth Davids, who I always thought looks like Sarah Paulson from American Horror Story. Yeah, it's a little quirky looking. Yeah, but a phenomenal movie. Okay. First of all, this movie's got incredible one-liners. Like yeah. the like, shop smart, shop as <laughs> smart. This is my boomstick. Give me some sugar, baby. Like there's so many phenomenal, funny one-liners. And to me, I always like I always thought this was like a very slapstick, very physical comedy movie. And Bruce Campbell does an incredible job. Pulling this shit off. Oh, he absolutely is phenomenal. Did Sam, did Sam write the script for that too? I'm, I'm assuming he might have, right? Yes. Okay. Sam is really quite good in this too. The way he pulls it together, because all the things you think about that you could do is you, by breaking down the uh, that era they're in, you know, that knights in armor era. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're just a bunch of dump, dump fuck bumpkins, more or less, right? Yes. <laughs> so here's Bruce, cocky guy, wise ass, whatnot, and he's just trying things on him, and some they fall for, and some they don't, and it's so entertaining. It's really a well balanced like, movie. Like you can't get enough of this movie. There's a part where like he loses his hand and then like he inserts a chainsaw <laughs> then he's got like the metal hand there's a like there's a point where like God. he's fighting like the little bruces then he's fighting the evil bruce yeah there's the witch there's there's like so many great jump scares in this movie